Recovering Disks and Individual Files. In this video, we will show you how to recover your system disk, recover individual files from a file or disk backup directly from the Acronis Cloud. How to recover a system disk. First, we will review the situation when you need to restore your whole system. If, for example, your PC is not bootable, here we will explain how to recover a system to the same hard disk. When recovering your system disk to a new computer where the processor, motherboard, or mass storage device is a different make and model than the system backed up originally, use Acronis Universal Restore, which is available in the premium version of Acronis True Image 2014. For more information, please see our video recovery with Acronis Universal Restore. To recover a system disk, you will need to have Acronis Bootable Media also called a Rescue CD and a backup of your system. The instructions on how to create a Cronus Rescue CD can be found in our video Acronis Bootable Media. First, arrange the boot order in BIOS so as to make your Rescue Media device, CD, DVD, or USB stick the first boot device. To enter it, you have to press a certain key combination, Delete, F1, Control, plus Alt, plus Escape. Control plus Escape or some other combination of keystrokes, depending on your BIOS. Boot your PC from Acronis Bootable Rescue CD and select True Image. Select My Discs below Recover on the home screen. Select the system disk or partition backup to be used for recovery. When the backup is not displayed, click Browse and specify path to the backup manually. Select Recover Whole Disks and Partitions at the Recovery Method step. Select the System Partition on the What to Recover screen. Note, Partition and Drive letters can be different from the ones displayed in Windows, since the full version of Acronis Bootable Rescue Media uses a Linux environment. This results in the default Linux letter assignment rules. You can select the partition using the Flags column. It must have the primary active flags. Starting from Windows 7, the System Reserve Partition will have the primary active flags. You will need to select for recovery both the System Reserve Partition and the System Partition. At the settings of Partition C, or the letter of the System Partition, if it is different, step check the default settings and click Next if they are correct. Otherwise, change the settings as required before clicking Next. Changing the settings will be needed when recovering to a new hard disk of a different capacity. Carefully read the summary of operations at the Finish step. If you have not resized the partition, the sizes in the Deleting Partition and Recovering Partition items must match. Having checked the summary, click Proceed. When the operation finishes, exit the standalone version of Acronis True Image 2014. Remove the rescue media and boot from the recovered system partition. After making sure that you have recovered Windows to the state you need, restore the original boot order. How to restore individual files. File recovery from a file or disk backup. We will show you how to restore individual files as well. For example, you have deleted or lost some of your family pictures. To recover files and folders, start Acronis TrueImage 2014. On the Backup and Recovery tab, find the backup which contains the files or folders you want to recover. Then perform one of the following. To recover data from a file level backup, click Recover on the corresponding box. To recover data from a disk level backup, click the gear icon and then click Recover Files on the corresponding box. In the Backup Explorer, select the files and folders you want to recover. Click Recover to start recovery. This will open the File Recovery window. Select a destination on your computer 
to where you want to recover selected files folders. You can recover data to its original location or choose a new one if necessary. To choose a new location, click the Browse button. To start the recovery process, click the Recover Now button. The recovery progress will be shown in a separate window. File Recovery from the Acronis Cloud with Acronis True Image 2014, you can browse and recover data that was backed up on Acronis Cloud. You can start recovering files and folders from Acronis Cloud on the program main screen. Start Acronis True Image 2014. Make sure you are signed in to your Acronis account. If not, click Sign In and enter the email address and password of your Acronis account. On the Backup and Recovery tab, Find the backup which contains the files or folders you want to recover, then perform one of the following. If you recover data from a file level backup on the corresponding box, click Recover. If you recover data from a disk level backup on the corresponding box, click the gear icon and then click Recover Files. You will be taken to a Cronus Cloud Web Restore interface. Alternatively, you can recover directly from the Acronis website without using an Acronis product. Log on to your online backup account and click Recover My Data Now. After the Files tab on the Acronis Cloud Web Restore page loads, select the required online backup in the Backups area. Select the files and folders you want to recover. Click the Download button to start recovery. After the file download window opens, click Save to start download. By default, the data will be downloaded to the Downloads folder. You may change the download path. After the download finishes, you may click Open Folder to view the Downloads folder. Thank you for watching.